In this video, I will consider one numerical on Milman's theorem. Using Milman's theorem, find current through load. So here the load is ZL. We supposed to calculate IL that is nothing but the current through load which is 1 plus J1. We supposed to solve it using Milman's theorem. So here in this circuit, let me assume this is voltage V1, this has voltage V2 and this has voltage V3 that is let V1 is equal to 3 angle 0 that is voltage, V2 is 4 angle 0 and V3 is 10 angle 45 degree volts. Similarly, let me assume Z1 is equal to 3 minus J2, 3 minus J2 ohm, Z2 is equal to 4 plus J1 ohm, and Z3 is equal to 2 plus J2 ohm. So we know that in Milman's theorem, we have to calculate Milman's voltage. So Milman's voltage is represented by Vm, which is given by V1 Y1 plus V2 Y2 plus V3 Y3 divided by Y1 plus Y2 plus Y3. So here Y1, Y2, Y3 are the admittances. That is nothing but the reciprocal of Z1 is Y1, reciprocal of Z2 is Y2 and reciprocal of Z3 is Y3. That is Y1 is nothing but 1 over 3 minus J2. So this is nothing but 3 minus J2 inverse and Y2 is nothing but 4 plus J1 inverse that is 4 plus J1 inverse and Y3 is nothing but 2 plus J2 inverse that is 2 plus J2 inverse. Let me substitute these values in the formula. We have Y1 is 3 minus J2 that is 3 minus J2 inverse into V1 that is V1 is nothing but 3 let me write it as 3 plus V2 Y2 so here V2 is nothing but 4 that is 4 into we have Y2 Y2 is nothing but 4 plus J1 inverse that is 4 plus J1 inverse plus we have V3 is nothing but 10 angle 45 10 angle 45 degree multiplied with Y3. So Y3 is 2 plus J2 inverse. That is 2 plus J2 inverse divided by we have Y1 plus Y2 plus Y3. That is 3 minus J2 inverse plus 4 plus J1 inverse plus 2 plus J2 inverse. So therefore I can write Vm is equal to so this these values can be directly feed in the calculator keep calculator in complex mode and substitute all the values and feed all the values. So numerator is given by 5.169 plus j 0. 226 divided by let me solve the denominator so it gives 0 0.716 plus it gives minus j 0 0.462 so solving this it gives 6.830 plus j 1.793 so in polar form it can be represented as vm is equal to 7.06 at an angle of 14.71 degree volts so this is vm that is nothing but millimeters voltage 
So now we are supposed to calculate Milman's resistance that is represented by Rm. So Rm is given by Rm is equal to 1 over y1 plus y2 plus y3 which is nothing but 1 over y1 is 3 minus j2 inverse plus we have 4 plus j1 inverse plus 2 plus j2 inverse. So solving this we will get 1.33 plus j 0.288 that is in polar form it can be represented as 1.36 at an angle of 12.21 so once if we calculate vm and rm we are supposed to draw the milman's equivalent circuit which is nothing but rm is connected in series with vm and to this combination we have to connect the load register zl so here zl value is given which is 1 plus j1 1 plus j1 ohm so assume that il is the current flowing through this so therefore here i can write il is equal to vm divided by rm plus zl that is rm plus zl which is nothing but vm already we have calculated which is 7.06 or we can write this also that is 6.830 plus j 1.793 divided by rm already we have calculated that is 1.33 plus j we have 0 0.288 plus zl zl is nothing but 1 plus j1 so calculating this we will get il is equal to il is equal to 2.567 plus that is minus j 0.649 so in polar form it can be represented as 2.648 at an angle of minus 14.19 amps. So this is the current through load register. Thank you for watching.